The Comanche face and body paint seen in the latest Predator movie is more significant than many fans think, according to Prey star Amber Midthunder. Many fans of the Predator are unaware of the deeper significance of the Comanche warrior face paint in the movie Prey. Prey, the fifth film in the Predator series, transports audiences to the 18th century and chronicles a Comanche warrior's struggle against a first alien predator to set foot on Earth. Both moviegoers and critics have praised the movie thus far, with many complimenting Dan Trachtenberg's direction, Amber Midthunder's lead performance as Nehru, and the movie's dedication to correctly and respectfully portraying Comanche culture. Although Trachtenberg is not a Comanche, Comanche advisors were employed to verify historical accuracy. Prey is notable for having a cast that is predominantly Comanche, and the option to watch the entire movie with Comanche audio dubs was included when the movie was released. Nehru and the other Comanche warriors don period appropriate clothes in addition to some striking face paint, as is prominently highlighted in the movie's advertising. One of the more striking posters for Prey is Nehru's black face paint combined with the Predator alien's signature green glowing blood. In a new interview with InStyle, Midthunder reveals more details about the warrior face and body paint featured in Prey and how each cast member got to add their own personal flourishes to each design. Unbeknownst to viewers, the careful designs have deeper stories than what might be initially assumed. We had several days of hair and makeup tests before we started shooting, and that doesn't just go for me, that goes for all of the boys, they got to collaborate on their face paint or their war paint. Some of them incorporated their own family designs into the paint on their face or body, which felt really amazing and hugely respectful of the production, to want to incorporate us and our cultures that way. Praise general attitude toward the Comanche culture it is presenting, which appears to be one of utmost respect, is consistent with the film's production's willingness to enable the actors to come up with their own face and body paint designs. Another first for a big Hollywood movie is the inclusion of a dubbed Comanche version of the dialogue, which represents a significant improvement in the authentic and truthful representation of Comanche culture. Midthunder's face paint and prey stands out from the rest of the cast right away, even though she doesn't reveal whether it contains any family symbols or connections. In the wrong hands, prey could have very easily felt like a more generic action film. Fortunately, the end result is one that feels distinct, not only within the Predator franchise, but within the action genre in general. While the unique designs in the character's face paint may be easy to miss, when the hulking alien Predator is barreling down on the Comanche hunters, subsequent viewings of Prey are likely to reveal other interesting character flourishes and cultural details.